so we're back here looking at the Marantz 300 DC and uh, one of the things we should do before we move on is take a look at what exactly happened uh, with this. This is the schematic of the power amplifier and these four transistors were all bad. These two pre-drivers were bad. These two pre-pre-drivers were bad. And these two pre-pre-pre-drivers were bad. So because this is a DC coupled amplifier, uh, all of those transistors were bad. And uh, as long as we're here and at it, more than likely we'll replace the electrolytic capacitors in here as well so that uh, we can be sure that we don't have a failure due to those uh, being old. Now, uh, over here we have the uh, we have the actual amplifier board and the amplifier board has just had six of the transistors on it replaced and uh, those six transistors were all bad every single one of them make sure that we're lit here this transistor this transistor this transistor this transistor, this transistor, and this transistor. And of course, the other side of this board has the sockets on it for the large power transistors, the TL3s. When we move this over, you can see the sockets for the TL3 transistors. Those are the sockets for them, and all of the TL3 transistors were also bad. So, um, that's one side of the amplifier, and as long as I'm doing the amplifier, I'm going to do both sides. I'll do the same six transistors on the other side as well. I'll replace them, and in the next video, we'll show a little bit about how to remove them, what the best way is to do that, and uh, maybe even show putting them back in and cleaning with acetone. Till then...